paying tribute to victims of violent crime. Dozens of people came out to the Bear County Courthouse today to remember those lives lost. As the night team's Charles Gonzalez reports, they want the community to come together to help victims' families find justice. Families, survivors, and the people who are trying to help them all gathering together outside the Bear County Courthouse to pay tribute to those who lost their lives to violence. There is someone out there that knows what happened to my daughter. Margie Salinas's daughter Deidre disappeared back in 1999. Her body was discovered six years later, and to this day, no one has been charged with her murder. Deidre left behind a daughter also searching for answers. Today she's a 24-year-old and she wonders what happened to my mother. Is there something you know that you're not telling me? Today's tribute not just to support victims and survivors, but to let others in the community know that help is available. This happens to us and we don't know nothing about the law. This is how we get educated. This is how we, we go a day at a time. Statistics show that it takes at least seven or eight times for someone to leave an abusive situation before they will actually break free from that environment. Among those who need help, abused children. They were represented today by these cardboard kids, reminding you that if you see something, say something and bring about you know, the healing and rest restoration and bring them from that level of victim all the way to survivor charles gonzalez ksat 12 news